So I'm one of the veterinarians here at the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland and I've been working with parchless snails for more than 15 years now. Parchless snails are a unique species that zoos have really been able to play a vital role in saving from extinction. And there are several species here at Edinburgh Zoo that have been kept nowhere else in the world. Um, so the Parchilla project at Edinburgh Zoo has been ongoing for years, many, many years. And, and we're continuing a lot of the work that was groundbreaking work and pioneering work done by other staff previously here. And so we continue that with our rearing. And then day to day, we have uh, um, a few things that are done weekly and then monthly. Um, the animals are fed three times a week. Once a week we clean the tanks out completely and once a month we take every snail out of the tanks, assess them, check them, have a look at the sizes, record the numbers and then it's a matter of um, working out from that what the growth pattern has been since the last month. So why would a veterinarian be involved with snails? It sounds like a really crazy question because they're not like a buffalo or a rhino or an elephant that you can do a lot of tests on or have to go out and dart but the veterinary role is actually critical important to the work that we've done here in the zoo. So we have to ensure that the population is healthy and it will reproduce so that we can build up sufficient numbers that they can return to the wild. We also have to ensure that the animals are healthy and they don't take anything with them that could obviously injure or make the wild part of the snail ill. And that's where my work comes in. When it was time to transport the snails back to French Polynesia, it was a very exciting time, but it was also very nerve-wracking, transporting a lot of snails over a great distance um, with very little control over what happens in between can be quite daunting. Um, so it was, it was quite stressful, but quite exciting at the same time. I think returning parchulas to the wild is probably the high point of my career in wildlife conservation medicine. I've operated on orangutans and elephants and bears and a whole host of exciting animals, but there's very few opportunities to do something quite so meaningful. So after that flood of relief to know that everything had gone well, they'd arrived safely on the other end, I think I was just elated to know that it had all been worthwhile. I mean, that's a, that's a huge deal. I mean, you, that's a, a once in a lifetime opportunity to do that. You, you, you come into this work, into conservation work, to make a difference. And I know a lot of people will, we often hear, it's just a snail. But you know, all creatures great and small, and they all have their importance, they all have their part to play, they're all part of the interconnectedness of life. Um, and so being able to send animals back to the wild and reintroduce effectively extinct species is a huge thing that will be, I'm unlikely to replicate in my career. Bringing a species back into the wild is a, a lifelong dream for anyone who's working in zoos and working in conservation. We all do this because we want to make a difference and being able to um, reintroduce animals back out into the world is that ult ultimate goal of being able to make a, a big difference. So um, super exciting, um, super rewarding um, and yeah, definitely the highlight of my career to be able to say we've reintroduced extinct animals back out into the world thanks to the, the project and the work that's gone on here at Edinburgh Zoo.